Oh, Virgo, hello. Just yawning right there. Um, let's get into it. Uh, this is gonna be a bonus for you, Virgo, sweet, dear Virgo. I was just meditating on your energy uh, before it turned on the camera. Okay. It's clear, it turns center. Wow, we're really ready for this reading. Oh my god, Isaac is looking at me. It's not ready, wait, I haven't done a bark. I haven't done a single, yeah, by normal meat bark. And I mean, when honey, I shrunk the kids, like we gotta fix that. And then, <laughs> and then maybe we can get on with the Virgo reading. Ah, oh, I'm not ready. Okay, so. Now, um, this is Isaac, by the way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. Sheesh. Little intro. <laughs> Doesn't take very long, does it? Okay. I don't know what's going on, bro. Someone making something. Someone maybe self conscious and making some excuses, like, let's return to center clear in the third eye. Um. I feel like we may be flashing a ring with like a hand with a ring, a ring with a hand. Okay, yeah, someone's very nervous about something even. Um, so maybe you may be going on a first date with someone now. Dear Virgo, as I was meditating, um, I was hearing that someone is like repeating something over and over to themselves, like of what you guys maybe connected on, what you guys talked about. Um, they felt like y'all really clicked to be honest, but they're like really uncomfortable about now what is happening. Like, it's the time that you spent together was great, but it's like now after you guys separated they're like nervous about how maybe they're gonna do that all over again okay so let's see a little bit as to who this is first i have a sense this person's talking to other people about what you guys were doing even like they maybe didn't want to but then they got really nervous i keep hearing nervous and then it's like they wanted to then just like kind of blab about it and like get everyone's advice like hey so yeah because they're feeling uncomfortable about this i'm seeing two one two or 12 or just two yeah oh wow i didn't even notice that libra it's the number 12 written on that card we have a double libra at that it could be that um, they're like thrown off by the physical side of this interaction. Uh, you guys were very playful last time. Wow, we have Leo Leo. This is a pretty thick deck uh, and they're not all signs. So that's a very particular pull right there. We have Leo Capricorn and then we also have Leo Scorpio. They're very intimidated you guys by, I feel you. And I feel for some of you, they find you very attractive. And so they just, yeah, they're feeling like they're getting in their head even. We have Aries and we have Neptune now. I do feel this is gonna manifest. I just feel it's gonna possibly take a little bit of time here, okay? This is the third card sitting at the base of that Neptune upright. We have Aries, Aries. So mm, some of you, you're very different from their ex. I'm hearing that. And that's also throwing them off. Like, can we give an example? Like they usually don't feel, okay? Like they need to really think a lot about what they're gonna do here. It's like, they need, they need to think about this, they feel. Like you're, yeah, they're usually maybe very even like suave, okay? But they're having trouble feeling that way that they normally do. And the way that they normally get through situations is just, that well that that feeling is not what they're feeling they're feeling anxiety so let's get for them maybe usually they're quite like calm cool collected i'm hearing ouch maybe they even like usually they feel quite masculine like i'm not saying that you can't get hurt as a masculine maybe it's a metaphor Maybe emotionally speaking, but like this person is the hell is food over here? What is this? <laughs> it's definitely not a Virgo read. Okay, well maybe they're usually I'm usually a Virgo. What am I doing? Like they maybe feel kind of messy. It's like something is going on. <laughs> no, no, not don't. Bl <laughs> that's you're a Pisces. Okay, yeah, that's your energy. <laughs> that's not me okay no matter what is going down okay but i'm definitely not gonna be having food on my table <laughs> okay virgo i got a venus in the sixth house by the way all right so let's just i'm hearing save a shilling or two on that debate okay so let's just move forward now queen of po potions in reverse in reverse yeah this person maybe usually they feel quite like they feel chill like they're not maybe they feel quite masculine like but then yeah it's like oh my god i feel like i broke a nail and i don't even have like falsies on i don't know guys something is going on with this person i see a masculine but yeah 
Yeah, I feel like the sin for, I don't know what you did, you fucking with their head. You are. Yes, you are. Man, you are. You're messing with this person. I feel like, guys, sometimes they get irritated. Like, why is it that I'm only acting like this around her? Okay, I really wanted to, like, get to know her. I'm acting like I, I'm, like, stuck in love. I'm not flow. I'm not on the flow. Say I'm stuck. It's like I'm in the mud. I need her to come save me from what I'm feeling for her. It's like, this is not good. I heard that I love her. It's in the theme. Yeah, they find you too attractive, you guys. Queen of Wands. Like, they're trying maybe not to think about... Yeah. Okay, they're having a lot of sexual fantasies, Virgo. So, um, I feel like... Yeah. They're, um... I'm hearing what's done is done, what's gone is gone. They don't know, like, if they can recuperate from this point. Like, they're not sure what to do, literally. Like, they don't know if maybe next time you guys hang out, they should maybe, like, say something different. Maybe last time they sort of turning themselves off, off <laughs> on even in the connection. Like, maybe they were trying to turn themselves what? off, and then they ended up just getting turned on again. Um, so... Yeah, I feel this person just at a loss for how to handle the situation. Maybe they just can't help it, but, like, every time you guys hang out, they're just, their mind is racing. And then it's messing with how they can, like, logically, like, communicate. Um, that might sound crazy, you know, to you, but that's really how I feel the feeling. So let's get a little further. I see a ring here. I keep seeing a ring, so maybe they're, this is a big deal, like, they want to propose. All right, Virgo, we have good news and death. Oh, my. So, yeah, I feel they've, listen, <laughs> readiness in reverse. They've tried to get to this point, whatever this is, that they want to carry out with you. Many, 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 many times. I'm seeing the name Amy. Let's back it up. Clear throat They're fighting, yeah, they're fight, uh, fighting this sand. Cause I can't fight this feeling anymore. They need to come through. They know it. They want to come through. But they don't want to, like, just do it. And that's part of it. Like, they could be getting all up in their head and whatnot and all that, you know, that Virgo good stuff. Like, where you start overthinking and stuff. Friendship, good news, commitment. You're thinking, like, too much about the details and then you maybe stop all, you know. Let's back it up with a road genre. They could maybe even... Ugh, so fucking funny, because I don't know how... Jesse McCarty keeps coming through in the reads, but I'm seeing he literally looks like him right there. So anyone who's familiar with Jesse McCartney, like, yeah, feel free to comment. That might be a mess for somebody, but I'm just seeing that, like, right there. Specifically, um, in that song, um, How Do You Sleep? and uh, Beautiful Soul. So, like, the older songs, maybe that was a time where you met this person. Anywho, maybe that was your song together, even. Um... If you're gonna comment, how many of you actually, uh, let's back it up quick. Um, how many of you know who Jason McCartney is? Um, or if that's something for you. So, good news, friendship, or freaking illuminate what that means. Good news, friendship, commitment. Uh, yeah, they, they, they're going, they're this very stop stall here. Stop stall, wow. So, they are very black or white, I feel. When it comes to whatever, they may have a Venus in Scorpio. I am hearing a Venus in Capricorn, but they're like very, uh, even OCD by the little nitpicky details. Like, they don't want to do this at all if it's not going to be the way that they want to do it. I'm hearing Candace. They keep pulling back. Okay, so, for instance, like if they haven't called you yet, uh, yeah, they could maybe even be planning, like, what to say, how to say it, when to say it, and they didn't figure it out yet. If they haven't called it yet, they just haven't figured it out yet. Like, this is not a good time. I heard that. Even they're just freaking out. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, they're last minute they think of all the things, little things that could go wrong. So they're gonna not gonna want to do it at all if they feel like not ready. So this is not someone who, yeah, I don't I see them getting into that shadow of um I am here in Virgo. But it could also be their Venus. Okay, this is a big deal to them, maybe, you know? Um, so Okay, let's get here a card for each of the days, dear Virgo. Thank you guys for hitting the like button on this video as well. Those of you subscribed, thank you so much for joining us here on the channel, Alchemy You. Okay, I'm a channeler, just in case you, it's your first time. Some of you, it's your first time. Um, it's making me think of the plus 18 extended read we did on members, on 48 hour members. That could be a mess for somebody. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a potato wedge, like a baked potato wedge. One, two, three, four, five, six. They maybe want to invite you to, like, a nice dinner place. Yeah, lovers with the Ace of Cups. I see, like, a bottle of champagne, like, popping open. They're, maybe we're going to do one thing, and then they're going to end up... Okay, they were planning one thing. They're going to scratch that idea, and I feel like the thing that they actually fell through on is going to be something different than what they originally had planned. Maybe at first they wanted to take you to some dinner, and then they're going to change that. Yeah, oh, wow, wow. This is... <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. Um, you're not going to be single anymore, Virgo. That's all I'm going to say, okay? <laughs> see you on the extendeds. I'll do a bonus on this on members. 48 hours. Okay, we'll see what else Spirit wants to say, but... 
this last week of August is going to be very, very, very clarifying for you and this person. I feel it's going to be um, magical, honestly, okay? It's going to be something that you can never really, um, you can never really see coming. And I feel like if it is a surprise, it's going to be one. It's going to really be 